Triple E EDC back again with another EDC video. This is the Andar Wallets Apollo model. Now this was provided by the manufacturer. That means two things. First of all, this must be assumed to be the best quality controlled version of this wallet they had available. Second, it means that I have an affiliate link below. And so if you do decide to purchase this wallet and you found this review helpful, I would appreciate if you purchased through that affiliate link that will, that helps fund some of the, some of the giveaways I do on this channel. And I do do a lot of giveaways on this channel. So I definitely appreciate if you did, uh, if you purchased through there. However, I uh, do have a pledge on this channel that I don't accept products if there are any strings attached to them. And I will not, and I let the manufacturer know before I got this that I am going to give an honest review. I'll point out the good, I'll point out the bad, and I'll be very frank with my viewers about it. Uh, so that's my little disclaimer. Let's go ahead and get into the review. So first of all, uh, let's t talk about what's good about this wallet. So this is the Saddle Brown version of this wallet, and it comes in several colorways. It comes in tan, Saddle Brown, dark brown, black, uh, olive gray, and it also comes in a cork version. Uh, so uh, it, there's several different versions of this wallet, and uh, that's something that I love about it. Another thing is the price. The price is pretty good on this. It's $55. You can also get uh, discounts available here and there. You can find online if you just do a quick Google search for what those discounts are. They have discount codes. Also, comes in a pretty nice box. Box looks like this, and let's go ahead and take a look. I can get this open. There we go. And once you get into the box, you get a bag. The wallet comes in the bag. And you also get this card. Nice card saying thank you. This fold is actually uh, my handiwork. Uh, but you also get a uh, thank you code that gives you a discount off your next wallet. So if you can't find anything else online and this code works, feel free to go ahead and use it. Uh, but that is um, another great thing about this wallet is you is the price is pretty decent for it and you can get uh you know a uh, some discount codes here and there for it another great thing is the materials used this is full grain leather uh, it is crazy horse uh saddle leather i believe and uh, i would compare this to horween leather horween chrome xl leather where you have the uh type of leather where it's a waxy, uh, sort of a waxy leather where the oils can get redistributed. Uh, so you can see the oils and the leather moving around. That's where you get the different coloration here. I love that. Some people don't like that as much, but I absolutely love that. You can see on the folds uh, it's happening and you can see where, where this happens. If you push into the, the leather, see those colors starting to recede it's because the oils are being redistributed. So uh, I love that about this leather. It gives it a nice lived in vintage look. Uh, and I think it's absolutely fantastic. Full grain leather, of course, is the best uh, type of leather other than Horween, um, I shouldn't say Horween, other than uh, Shell Cordovan leather. Shell Cordovan leather is actually horse hide, so it's not even the same type of leather. But as far as cow leather goes, full grain leather is the best. Uh, and this is definitely up there. It's good, good quality leather. So I like that as well. The Branding on here is not too bad. Uh, the logo here, you have the Andar logo here and here, and then you have the Andar logo here. Of course, this is going to be covered up by an ID, so you're not even going to see this, and this is the only branding you're going to see, but this will also be covered up by a card. All right. Next thing, the uh, design on this is fairly nice. Uh, I, I really like the design for the most part. You have a card slot over here. You have five total card slots. You have a card slot here. You have a card slot here, another one here, another one here, which is the ID window. And you have another one here, uh, which is on the side. You can see there's a slot in here. So those are all card slots and we're gonna take a look at how they work. So I've got a couple cards here uh, for you and we're gonna go ahead and put them in. So let's see, we, we can fit one. They, they claim we can fit one to 10 cards in here, so we can fit two. We can fit three, four, five. Let's make this a little easier and open this up. Six, seven, eight, and then in this slot, nine and 10. All right, so 10 cards, just like they say, uh, we were able to fit in here. And 
We're gonna go ahead and flip this up. This is the money clip. This is also another great part of the design. You can flip this up and we're gonna put some money in it. So you can see what it looks like with the money in it. So it, it works like a billfold. You put the money in right there, fold it, and you've got your wallet. Pretty decent uh, size here. It's not overly thick. This is an XM18, so it's about as thick as an XM18 with uh, 10. This is a, a Hinder XM18, in case you guys don't know. Uh, it's about as thick as a Hinder XM18 when it's fully loaded with 10 cards and cash. Uh, and so I, I think that's a pretty reasonable size for a wallet. Uh, and this definitely helps you streamline what you're doing. Also, another thing that I like is this billfold is, is a pretty nice design. Because let's say you want to take, it lets you fan out your bills pretty easily here. And let's say you want to take, uh, you know, this bill, right? So you can hold this, pull this out, and it doesn't move any of the other money. Everything remains the way it was, uh, which I think is a fantastic feature. Uh, another good feature here is that the uh, window here allows you to, to slide out your card pretty easily. So if you need to take out your ID, window allows you quick access to your ID. If you need to get to the card behind your ID, you can also do that pretty quickly. Slide the first card out, slide the second card, then slide the first card back and pull that second card out. Uh, so that's great. What's awesome about this wallet is this tab right here. So this tab will go ahead and pull out. If you pull the tab, it's, a, it's an elastic tab, it will pull out these two cards here and then you can take the top or the bottom card uh, for easy access so you can put your two most used cards in the slot uh, and they will always be available for you so I think that is a really really good part of this design I love that about this wallet let's see that in action again you just take this tab pull this up and boom the cards there you can go top or bottom with it and you are good uh, the Sorry, one second. Okay, another good thing about this is this is RFID blocking. Uh, so if, uh, if you're worried about some, the smart chips that you have and somebody stealing uh, information on your smart chip, the, the wallet is RFID blocking and uh, that, that's definitely a good point here uh, as well. So let's go ahead and talk about uh, the bad on here. So first of all, with the bad, what I don't like about this wallet is uh, that the cards on the outside, so this, this slot's a little small. I would prefer that this slot be, uh, be a little bit bigger, maybe a little bit wider right here so that I can get more of a purchase on here and get this out. Uh, also getting out the card behind it is a little bit trickier. So if you, if you put two cards on this outside right here, although you can get to the first card pretty easily, getting to the second card requires you to take the first card out, otherwise you're fumbling around a little bit. So uh, that's not as good right there. Another issue is it's hard to get to the cards when this is full uh, from behind over here. Uh, so, you know, if you need to get to the back card, it, it is a little difficult. The easiest way to do that is going to be to open on the wallet, pull the top card out, and, and then pull the, the bottom card out. Uh, so again, pull the top card and then the bottom card. If you try to take just the back card, just the bottom card, what happens is you run into a couple problems. You run into the problem of uh, not being able to get your finger back there because it's a little tight. And remember, these are unembossed cards. So when, once you get embossed cards, it's gonna be even a little bit thicker. Uh, credit cards are usually embossed. They have raised lettering over here. And so, you know, the, the fit is gonna be even a little tighter than I have right here. Uh, so just be aware of that. Another thing is uh, the stitching on here is good but I think it could be better. If you look at the stitching, it, 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 it is quality stitching. It's fine uh, for, the, for the most part. Um, and uh, it, it's definitely average or better than average, but I would prefer that you know this be more reinforced stitching uh, because wallets are gonna wear over time and you're gonna get some, uh, some stitching coming up over time, uh, probably in a wallet. Uh, I would say that it's very likely you would, unless you have reinforced stitching. I don't think this stitching appears to be reinforced, and I think that's definitely a drawback uh, of this wallet. Uh, but you can see the different stitching they have here. Okay, uh, so the other another issue is the RFID blocking. While it's great for the cards you have in here, and the cards you have in here, and, pro and, I, and I believe the cards you have in here as well, uh, I don't think the RFID blocking applies here because right here, all you have is the leather. Um, below it, I believe you have the plate inside of the wallet here that uh, creates the RFID blocking and also gives this a rigid form. 
uh, but right here, you don't necessarily have RFID blocking. So on this outer pocket, I would uh, suggest that you put in some cards that aren't going to do, uh, uh, aren't going to be a problem for RFID blocking, or, or going to need RFID blocking. Another issue is that uh, because this is that, you know, saddle leather that shows marks and wear, it is going to show marks from, uh, like, let's say a fingernail scratch like that and different scratches. You can take care of that by moving oils around and you can see it, it goes away, but it's definitely going to bother some people. Uh, you know, I, I view this as a plus, but I think it should be noted, you know, right here, look, there, there are scratches. So you can move them around and it goes away and it looks great over time, I, in my opinion, but there are going to be people that don't like that. So if that's you, just be aware of that. So that's another issue. Uh, another thing is there's a one year warranty on this. Uh, I would like to see a longer warranty. I would also like to see a better explained uh, warranty on what that warranty covers. I did look a little uh, around their website and didn't find uh, you know, a comprehensive warranty policy. Uh, it could be that I'm missing it. You guys should check out their website. It is, uh, and our wallet, uh, I believe it's andarwallets.com. So it's A-N-D-A-R wallets. Dot com. So again, uh, you know, I, I, they gave me two overall, here are my overall conclusions. Uh, this is a $55 wallet, comes in a lot of colorways, uh, has a lot of good features. I really like a lot of the features on here. I carried this around for a while and I really love it. I, uh, I, I, I it, it's, it's, pr it's pretty much my go-to when I'm not using my Ridge. So I use a Ridge wallet just because it's small. Uh, you can see the difference in size here, but when, I'm not using my Ridge, then I'm, I am using this wallet. This is a fantastic wallet. Very happy with it overall. I am, I do have a couple of long-term durability concerns, uh, mainly with the stitching. Uh, the leather, I don't really have any concerns about, but uh, that is, uh, but overall, I'm very, very happy with this and uh, really love this, this feature in particular. Uh, and, you know, I, I definitely would recommend this uh, as, as a wallet, and if you are gonna buy it, uh, and you like this design, you think this is something that appeals to you or would uh, fit your lifestyle, go ahead and use that link below in the affiliate link. Definitely would help out the channel and uh, I, would, I definitely appreciate you checking out the review. If you've used this wallet or any others, uh, go ahead and drop a comment. I will say they sent me another wallet, the uh, Griffin, to look at. Out of the two wallets, I do prefer this one. I'm, I probably do a separate video comparing the two uh, so you can see what I did prefer, what I didn't prefer uh, from this one over that one but just know that uh, this one was the one I preferred, so if you're looking for my recommendation of the two that I'm going to review, it's gonna be this one, a little spoiler alert, uh, but I'll do a full review and let you know why, because there are features that are good on both. Thanks so much for watching.